Welcome to Truffasoft. In this segment, I'll be covering the pivot table feature in Excel. In Excel 2007, go to Insert tab, press Pivot Table, and Excel will do a remarkable job guessing your data range. As long as you don't have any blank lines in between, it will be spot on. So I'm going to press OK. And whatever field that you see up here, you can drag into these four spaces to create a summary view of whatever report you would like to see. So let's drag revenue into value. And I want to look at product, status and I'm gonna put market in the report filter. You can modify the view by just dragging the fields into different places and just experiment in terms of what type of view that you wanna see. I wanna see salesperson. There we go. And I want to remove status. Okay. So this is pivot table in a nutshell. And in Excel 2007, you have a little bit more feature in terms of slicing and dicing mode. So in the page, you could click on select multiple items and pick and choose which one you want to see. In this particular view I've excluded partner and only clicked on enterprise, home office and small office and as you can see this sum will only represent those that I've selected and I can go back and click all to show me everything. In, a, in previous version of Excel, go to insert, Not true. I'm sorry. It's actually data, pivot table, next. And again, Excel did a pretty good job of guessing the range. And I'm going to go next. And if I've already used another pivot table using this range, it will give me this message. And I'm just going to say yes and basically what that does is it minimizes the size of your Excel file if you keep using the same range um, name. I'm going to press next, layout, and as you can see it's slightly different from Excel 2007 but again same principle where all the data field that you have at your disposal will show up here and I'm going to put price into data um, and I want to see product and sales rep. Okay, finish. So the previous version of Excel actually does not have all the capability in Excel 2007. So if you notice here, you can't choose multiple items. However, you can choose it from here and drag it up there again and it will tell you multiple item. The only thing that you can't do here is choose, in, uh, choose your specific view up here. You just have to do it from this mode. So that's a bit of inconvenience, but 
this is the older version.